Snappers, it's Eleanor McGarry, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Canada. And today, for Share a Card Sunday, I'm going to be using the Awesome Otters stamp set. This is part of Celebration, and of course, Celebration is a period in Stampin' Up!'s um, year where you can earn stamps for free. So for every $60 or $120, you can get stamps for free. So this is the Celebration Catalog, and the one we're going to be using today is the Awesome Otters stamp set. As you can see, it's free with any $60 purchase from the catalog, from the main catalog. And here are some samples here of different cards made um, with the stamp set. This is the stamp set here, and the cards that I've made. I've made three very simple um, cards, so the theme of this tutorial is simplicity. I like the clean cleanliness of this all. It's just, just basically white. Your focal point and what you want the um, receiver of the card to look at is the actual image. There's not too much going on here because the images are so cute that that's what we want to focus on. And the card that I'm going to show you today is this one with the otter swimming um, in the water and um, it has a you are oddly awesome greeting on there so let's get going for this very simple card all we're gonna need are your base card and the first layer these two pieces of white I have the dimensions on the screen and then um, of course the border here that's just strips of uh, pool party and black that I have. I'd like to um, try and make use of as much of my card stock as I have. So quite often if I don't have matching ribbon, I'll just use card stock to create an, a border like this. And then of course, to color in our otter, I have um, my Stampin' Blends. The Bermuda Bay, light Bermuda Bay, I use to color in rhinestones, the basic rhinestone gems to embellished card and then for the actual otter I have crumb cake the dark and the light crumb cake and then to for the little fish that he's got in his arms there I have light um, gray granite as well to create the waves that uh, the water that the cute little otter is swimming on I have the stamp set Called gentle waves and it creates a really nice look of water and then I stamp that in pool party and of course the little otter uh, image I stamp using tuxedo black So now we're going to continue with the card. I'm going to show you how to stamp the um, uh, water that um, is behind here. We're going to do that on the white panel. I've gone ahead and also um, used my layering circles dies to create the size of the openings that I want. And keep that um, cut out because I use that to make the other card in this um, using this set. So keep that. Might as well use it, create another card with it. So to do the waves, what I did was I cut using just scrap paper, let's see, um, a, a square that is slightly larger than that opening, because what you wanna do is you want to stamp um, the waves 
on here, but you don't want to get any of the ink on the sides because the finished card does not have anything underneath. You just want it to show the waves in the center. So the way I did that was you're just going to eyeball where you think you want, you'd want you want the waves to be. So let's just... Let's say right around here. Let's just put that there it's just to hold onto it. So what I did, the way I stamped the ink to, on the waves is, it's a large stamp. So this plastic film that I have here, that comes from the other stamp sets, the photopolymer stamp sets. When you get them, this is one called Flowering Tulips. I will be using this in my next tutorial. When you first get these um, photopolymer stamps, when you open them, this is the matching dies. I like to keep them all in the same container there. It comes with these plastic um, protective sheets. This is the very the, the sturdier one, but it will come with one that's a bit lighter in thickness, and that's what this is. So I, t I keep those, and that's what I use to um, stamp my big stamps, if I'm only going to be stamp a stamping a portion of it, because it's very um, hard to stamp this with a block, I find anyway. So what I do is I'm going to go ahead and take my pool party ink and I'm going to go ahead and just apply ink to the part of the stamp that I'm going to use. So just Just want to make sure I don't have any ink where I don't want it so let's get rid of some of that and then I use the cling sheet here to kind of hold it to where I want it to go and then go ahead and stamp it onto your and then I use a, a, one of the smaller blocks just to add pressure and then what you get is a stamped image like that and then of course we are going to pop this up like so so all you see is the waves and that's how you get that effect but what I am going to do as well is I'm going to um, use a blending brush to just add a little bit of um, pool party ink let's just get some of this onto to the actual waves and a little bit on top where you know your circle is going to be. And then I also, if you notice on the card, I aged the sides. I add a little bit of pool party on the side. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to work on the border here that um, I created using just strips of leftover paper. So the way I did that is just go ahead and run. Don't forget to use your craft sheet here. It protects your surface so that any glue that happens to go off your project won't ruin your surface that you're working on because on the craft sheet what happens is when it dries it just balls up then you can just kind of scrape it off and get rid of it and you've um, prevented having to clean your surface so what I do is I just know that I want to have my border right around here so I'm just going to run a strip of glue just the liquid glue and I'm just lightly tapping it on there doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It's very forgiving glue. So once you have it on there, you are just going to attach your strips and then play around with the placement. So let's put the and then just make sure that it's as straight as you can manage to get it. And then your black on there and doesn't matter that it's too long because we're gonna cut that off 
And again, I like to use my cardstock as much as I can to create elements like this. If you don't happen to have ribbon that match, why not use cardstock? So there you go. And then of course the greeting, I did um, stamp using uh, embossing ink, Versa Mark on black, and then I embossed with black, sorry, with white embossing powder, and that's gonna get popped up right there. I've gone ahead and um, added the layer onto my base card and I popped that all up. Make sure you have enough um, adhesive behind there, the Stampin' Dimensional, so that it's nice and sturdy. And then the only thing I need to do now is I have to, I wanna add my greeting right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my little Stampin' Dimensionals on there. Then I'm gonna put my little otter swimming there. Again, we're gonna pop that up. And then the last step is I needed to add, or I wanted to add some rhinestones. Colored them in Bermuda Bay to kind of match the pool party. The pool party Stampin' Blend was um, too light. I, fo I found I had to um, choose a different color. It could also be because my pool party Stampin' Blend's like just low on ink now I need to order. So just go ahead and add your rhinestones where you want them to go. Let's do the one there, oops. There you go, there's your finished card. And again, I'm gonna bring in all the other cards that I made using Let's do this so that you can see all of them, the stamp set. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Again, this is using the Awesome Otters stamp set, which is a celebration set. You can Earn this for free by putting in a $60 order from the catalog. And if you order through me, my link is on the bottom in the description. I will send you one of the cards from uh, this tutorial. It'll be just depending on how many people order and how, what I have left, but it will be one of these cards here. So I'd love if you ordered for me. If you don't have yet have a Stampin' Demonstrator as yet, I'd love to help you out with your stamping needs. If you haven't yet um, liked my YouTube channel, please do so. The link to subscribe is on the bottom right hand corner. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy stamping.